before this video starts, I do want to mention that I will be having a giveaway. So I've been going through my makeup stash recently and I've been adding more to the giveaway box. I have a giveaway box and I feel goodies in this giveaway box for you guys. So when I have giveaways, I just get to pick like two or three items from there and then ship them off to you. So in this video, I do want to do a giveaway. All you have to do is just like, comment, and subscribe, and that is all. If you do want an extra entry, all you have to do is just share this video, and that is all, and you are entered. Once I pick a giveaway winner, I will reach out to you. Once you respond, I will then share who won the giveaway. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get to the video. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be playing around with some new goodies that I, I don't know why I went like that, some new goodies that I got at Ulta. This is the ColourPop X's and O's. Now, ColourPop just be killing it lately, just be coming out with palette after palette after palette. It's really hard to keep up with them. So, I did order the Kathleen Lights palette, so be on the lookout for that, and I did purchase some more ColourPop. But anyways, so I saw this collection and I asked you guys on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see it and a lot of you said yes, so I was like, yeah, yeah. So I got two blushes and two liquid lip. Not everything called to me from the collection and that's okay. I did swatch some of the stuff and I was just like. It's gonna be no. So I just grabbed what I thought, like what I would use, you know, gravitate towards the most. So this is the X's and O's. The packaging on this is freaking cute. The roses is making me want to go finish my tattoo with the roses. Ah, I just love it. I just love it. Like, mira. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking pretty. I really like it. And here are the colors. Someone nicked it right there. But it's so pretty. Like, it's so freaking pretty. So I thought, if anything, I can do a really pretty smoked out sort of look. Let me zoom you guys in. And let's get to doing our eyes. Jade's in the room. So, you guys hear She's in the room. She says hi. <laughs> Hi. All right, so first we're going to prime our lids. I will be going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This one is in Latte. I really like this shade a lot, especially for my eyes to do a look. So going in with my Makeup Shack T29. This is a fave. And I'm just going to blend this in. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Mom. Hi. So here's just some of the swatches because like I'm trying to see like where to go here and holy moly those are beautiful. At first I was like I don't even know what to create anymore. It don't even look pretty to me anymore. You ever get in those one of those stages where you're just like it don't even look cute anymore but it it cute. So we're gonna go in. Oh you way stupid. So we're gonna go in with hooky and I'm just gonna apply hooky just right in my crease. I want hooky all over. Hooky looks beautiful. So I'm just building up the color in my crease and just lightly buffing it. So I'm going to go in with an LA Colors small blending brush. And I want to go in with Realness. And I'm just going to apply that just in my crease. Realness looks a little bit deeper than what I anticipated. What the? What the hell? I'm gonna go in with a different brush. I'm gonna go in with Sonade, the Sonade, the Sedona Lace EB13, and I'm just going to just buff that. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but I'm such a weirdo. I'll get to the same to the other side, or I feel like it's not gonna be even. So then I'm gonna go back in with Hooky, and I'm just going to lightly just blend in there it's kind of maybe soften it up just a little bit girl looking good huh now go oi all right so going in with fortune and we're just going to lightly add that just at the end of my eyeball my eyelid now time to cut the crease Okay, going in with the Makeup Shack T37. Yeah. You thought. 
So now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Shack T77 and I'm going to pick up 20 something. That's so cute, huh? Oh, how old are you? Oh, I don't know. 20 something. 20 something. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty sure this is one of the shades you have to use with your. Oh, yeah. It pops so much more when you go in with your finger. That color. Freaking beautiful. 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 I'm gonna apply some tape. So, I'm gonna go in with Hooky again, just with a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to apply this just at the edge. Like that. Going back in with hooky again, just at the edge, just like that. And if a little bit gets more on the lid than need than wanted, then we're just going to fix that. It's an easy fix. But I just kind of want it to look like it's fading. So I'm gonna go back in with that brush and grab 20 something and just kind of just pat it over. I really like that shade Ricky. It's really pretty. Like I really want to make sure that it it shows. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with Hickey again, but with an LA Girl 202 brush. We're gonna blend that more over here. I wanna make sure just to pack it and then blend. So I did at first want to go with a darker shade, but I just really love the way Hooky looks. Like, it's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to go back in with 20 or something, just a little bit, and just apply that right underneath our brow bone. Just got a little bit on the crease. I'm just going to dust that away. I kind of want to do, like, a reddish wing, just because, like, yeah. her palette looks like that, you know? Purple would be a little bit too much, right? I don't know, this would be crazy, should I? The red, which the red would look very nice. But the blue, something else. So I've been going back and forth of like what I should do as eyeliner. And like look at all the swatches. I was like, what should I do? That blue, bluish purple, it's just calling out to me. It might ruin the look. It might not. Maybe Jay's trying to stop me, but I'm going to do it. All right, so the liner I will be using is a Rimmel London Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 liner, liner to shadow. The mascara I will be using is a L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. So here's a look with the lashes on. Okay, so now let's move on to our under eyes. I will be going in with the Milani Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Wear Golden Bronze, which is this beautiful. If you guys have a chance to get this, get it. All over the lid, underneath the lid, underneath the eyebrow. This is such a endless what you can do with this. It's beautiful, like it really is. So now we're gonna go back into the palette and we're gonna pick up Hooky. Let me know if they sell hooky separate because that seems like a shade that I'm going to be playing with a lot. It's very pretty. So going in with hooky using an LA Girl 206 brush, we're going to apply this right underneath my lash line. Now we're going to go into realness. Does that one say stay golden? Oh my god, that's freaking adorable. Stay golden, pony boy. I oh know, it's my jam. So just focus that shade just kind of towards the end towards the eyeliner just so it has like that nice like just fade effect because we have the light shade at the beginning and then in the middle you just want to blend those two together just so that it doesn't look just bare naked you know i'm going in with the luxe small angled brush i'm going to go in with 20 something that's so freaking cute i like that they picked that a little bit at the beginning just so it's like what's up 
How old are you? 20 something. Okay, so I did pick up two shades. I did pick up Growth Flirt. Packaging is so freaking cute. And then Drop of a Hat. Oh, very beautiful. Other one I picked up as like more of like a topper. Ooh, that felt like butter. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, I don't even know if that could be a topper because damn. That would have been pretty all over the eyes también. Ay, wey. That's so pretty. All right. So, and I like applying the blush because my favorite blush of ColourPop is where are you? Quarters, I believe. Yeah, it's Quarters. If you guys have ever wanted to play with a ColourPop Shock, Super Cheek Shock blush, this one right here is bomb. Like, look, it has like a little indent. I'm so proud of it. And this is such a pretty shade, Mira. See, it's a very pretty peachy. I love it. I dip into this so much. Oh my God, it has my pelo on it and todo. All right. Oh, so I'm excited to try this one because I'm so used to trying quarters. Again, this one is Growth Flirt. Pick up some product with the brush. Mm, I think it's gonna be too, pi too pike, too pink for my liking. Dang it, no. I'm just gonna bounce over it make it not as harsh dang it i thought it was going to be like a i i can't pull off that really pink 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 look i feel like it just uh, uh makes me look my opinion just like kiddish in a way um and i mean no disrespect by that but i feel like when i put on a color like this it reminds me of like like my baby playing with makeup you know like i feel like i can't it makes me look it doesn't flatter me. I'm gonna have to probably pass this off to homegirl. But let's go in and apply the one I do like, which is this one right here. I should have switched the brush because this one todavía has like the pink of the other one, but you know what? Oh well. All right. So that one was quarters. And then I do want to just lightly, lightly go over this one. Let's go with a different brush. And again, this one is drop of a hat. And it's just gonna give us that nice like sheen and it's very subtle oh okay yeah you see that's pretty just like something really nice and like glowy on top not too much where like it'll make your cheeks look like it'll bring out the texture but it gives you enough where it's like oh that's cute like that's really cute all right for my bottom lashes i will be going in with the l'oreal voluminous original all right, so I did get two shades. I did get PS and Zuma. So I do want to see how this looks with this new shade I've been loving from ColourPop. This one is BFF3, all right? Just like this. And then I'm gonna go in with Zuma. That's a very, very pretty shade. And then I'm going to apply PS on top and PS looks so pretty. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand And then here is the lip Now I'm going to show you guys just with it just by itself first I want to do the lip gloss since the lip gloss is just easier to remove first. It has like a really pe pretty peachy tone to it Here it is by itself I'm gonna show you this one by itself, Zuma. It's like my lip color, but one shade deeper. Then there it is by itself. All right, so now moving on to the palette, X's and O's. I feel like this is such a pretty, this is so freaking cute. I love the packaging. I feel like the whole packaging, all of it, is freaking beautiful. The palette itself, it is gorgeous. I really like it. And you guys know that I liked Hookie a lot. This color just really popped out and, oh, it was just so beautiful. And then 20-something, you guys know that that one had me had me going for a minute, like 20-something. It's so freaking cute. Those two were my favorite out of the palette. I really like the palette. So I still have another look that I want to do that is not so glam that I like I did today. I feel like it's a very, very, very pretty palette. I do want to swatch and show you guys. Okay, like 
20 something my favorite like meet up like look at that that is so pretty so pretty and then we have honky which is my favorite i really love a burnt reddish brown shade i feel like it just complements the skin tone so freaking pretty and then rookie i wanted to play with it this one was pretty interesting it has some like blue specks in it which is so freaking awesome so i feel like if you've been debating on playing with this palette or not definitely pick it up i feel like you'll be able to create something very very pretty something very glam and then something very like toned down as well it is pretty i will definitely be ordering some more ColourPop palettes just so that i can you know play with them as well because i was pretty impressed i think the only ColourPop palette i have this one you had me at hello this one was a really pretty palette as well but if i had to choose from this palette to this palette i would definitely say this one right here this one took the cake so i'm definitely gonna go on their website if you guys have any color pop eyeshadows that you guys recommend eyeshadow palettes that you guys recommend please let me know down below so that i can check them out so that's that about the palette now the lipsticks i feel like i chose some really really good lipsticks i feel like these two colors so freaking pretty i really like the zuma very very pretty it's beautiful it's like it's like what it says on here ultra blotted lip it looks like a blotted lip which is gorgeous like i love that 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 lip shade on somebody it's just so pretty and then the lip gloss is very flattering as well on top and alone very very pretty so i'm glad i picked those two up now for the blushes i honestly feel like you can skip on the blushes personally you could you could pass on it to be honest like you honestly could pass on it i i'm not i'm not 100 percent sold on it where i'm like oh, that is gorgeous you need it type of feel you know what i mean i think if they had more of like a peachy or even a mauve color i would have picked that one up i thought this one for sure since it did look mauve that it was going to fit me very nicely but my personal opinion i feel like i would just pass on these two but for sure the two lips and the palette hell yeah it was really really pretty so i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already to keep updated my videos and make sure to let me know down below what other color pop palettes i should pick up i would love to know and yeah thank you guys so much to get on with y'all i'll see you guys in my next one bye